bass drum microphones are highly colored sounding specialty mics that will or will not fit the bass drum you're miking. I certainly have had some hits and misses with bass drum microphones which made mixing much more difficult than it needed to be. The DPA4055 bass drum microphone on the other hand is designed to be a one size fits all moldable solution for kick drum miking. So how versatile and easy to use is this microphone? First, let's check the form factor of this mic. The body of this bass drum microphone is tailored to be easy placeable inside of the air hole in the front head of a bass drum, with this out of center column. If you compare it to, let's say, a Shure Beta 52, you can see the difference in size, and also how much sleeker the overall design of the DPA4055 is. The mic comes with this handy clamp, which you tighten like this. This is a very sturdy clamp and in my testing it never came loose. If you push it too far, the clamp can damage the coating of the DPA4055, which happened to me within 2 minutes after unpacking the mic while the representative who brought the mic was there, so that was fun. Also the grill already had a little chip off the paint, something the quality of control of DPA missed. If you unscrew the grill of the DPA4055, you see that the mic uses the well-known DPA capsule in a different body, which is something DPA does a lot. The microphones by DPA are known to sound very linear with a slight presence boost. This mic is no different. Also of all bass drum mics I checked, the DPA4055 has by far the hardest signal. By itself, in the air hall of a 22x18 bass drum, it sounds like this. Here it is with some snare bleed. If you're used to typical bass drum mics like the Sennheiser E602 and Audix D6, this might sound more open to you than you're used to. The low end extension on this kick is serious. But I started this video by saying that the DPA4055 is designed to be a moldable solution. The mic takes EQ very well. Let's now adjust the DPA4055 to make it sound like well known other bass drum mics with EQ only. But not before I tell you about the sponsor of this video, DistroKid. If you need to split the revenue of your releases with multiple collaborators, DistroKit has splits. This enables you to, very simply, split the revenue you make. Add as many collaborators for a release you want and decide how much of the cake they get in percentages. On top of that you can set recoupments as well, so if you agree on a fixed fee instead of royalties, this is the way to do that. Get 7% off of your first year with DistroKit by using the link in the description. This is how I'm going to adjust the DPA4055 to make it sound like other well known bass drum mics, and I will use FabFilter Pro Q3 to EQ match the DPA4055 to that other bass drum mic. You can get eerily close, but there are differences obviously because the performance is not the same every time. 
DPA microphones are also known to have a very uncolored off-axis bleed sound and the DPA 4055 is no exception. This will reduce the need for gating, but on the other hand you still will EQ the bass drum and with that the bleed as well. Now since that the DPA 4055 has a very flat response, why not use it on other parts of the drum kit? The small form factor will be handy to get the mic in tight places. The DPA 4055 is a versatile mic. If you want to have a ready to go kick sound, this one is most likely not for you. But if you need versatility, the mic is an absolute winner. In a video displayed on screen and linked in the description, I will do a shootout between the DPA 4055 and 5 other really well known bass drum microphones. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.